So welcome back everybody. If you've been watching the channel for any length of time, you have undoubtedly seen me use the old Ford 3000 here. This is the first tractor that I used around this place and there's a bunch of videos on the channel with me using this particular tractor. When I got the Kubota, uh, my intention wasn't to replace this tractor with the Kubota, but as you can imagine, the Kubota is a lot more comfortable to use. So this tractor kind of got put on the back burner. I do get it out every now and then to use it for one purpose or another, but for the most part, it's just been sitting here collecting dust. The last time that I used it was when I put my spring food plots in, and that was in April or May, I guess. So it's been a pretty long time. So what I wanna do today is I wanna get it out. I wanna brush the dust off of it, deal with a few issues that it's got, and I wanna attach the mower to it because I think it'd be a great dedicated mowing tractor. And uh, but there are a few little issues that we have to deal with first. So let's go ahead and get this thing going again and breathe some new life into it. The first thing that we're gonna have to deal with is the battery. Um, as you can imagine, the battery was kind of the first thing that went, and that's really the reason that I haven't been using it so much. And we've got a fair amount of acid leak here that we need to deal with. I've got some baking soda water. So we'll just pour that on and get that neutralized. Go ahead and swing this battery out. Probably should have done that first. I should have been giving this thing way more attention. You can see we got lots of pitting going on over here. Uh, that's just a result of all that acid sitting there for so long. Lots of peeling paint and I'll have to put a little coat of paint on this just so that it won't, just to give it a little bit of protection in the future. But I should have been doing something with this all along. It's pretty obvious that battery was leaking and messing stuff up. So as you saw there, the battery should have been changed out a really long time ago. It leaked and has created some rust and pitting issues and the paint is all peeled. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna scrub this out real good, get it probably not all the way down to the bare metal, but as close as we can and repaint it. I've got the correct color of Ford blue, so we'll make it look halfway decent. And uh, so let's go ahead and do that and see what it turns out looking like.
So that's going to need just a few minutes to dry. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and change the oil and we'll give that some time to dry before we paint it. I wrote on the oil filter last time I changed the oil, it was 2018. It was, well, I really can't read the date very well. It looks like December maybe of 2018 at 3,285 hours. Now it's got 3,364 hours and that's 79 hours. And I definitely didn't do that math before I turned on the camera. So it's been a while and you can see I haven't put a whole lot of hours on it in the last three or so years. So let's go ahead and change the oil and uh, uh, that'll be one step out of the way. I think my two-year-old could have done a better job.
it, Clay. I need to get down. You can get down. You got up. That's pliers. That's pliers. Mm-hmm. What is that noise? That's a bee. That's brake cleaner. You're next. Zaza's tractor. Uh, I'm fixing Zaza's tractor. Mm. He thinks this is his sister's tractor. So we made some pretty good progress on the tractor. We got the oil changed. We got the oil bath air filter changed. We got the battery tray repainted and scrubbed down. down. You want back down? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, can you say thumbs up? Thumbs up. There you go. That's not your thumb, but they know what you mean. But we're getting real close. The uh, battery should be in at the shop tomorrow. They had a special order because it, it was kind of an old school battery. And uh, yeah, we're making some good progress. We'll get it out hopefully tomorrow, maybe the next day, and uh, put the mower on it and maybe give it a bath as well. But yeah, making some good progress here. All right, so it has been like 24 hours or so since this has been painted and it is nice and cured. So let's go ahead and get this off of here and put it on the tractor. Now we get back down, Dad. You can get down. You can this. What is this, Dad? That's sawdust. To show y'all Murphy's Law here. This thing went in in exactly the direction I didn't need it to go because I can't get that pin in there until this post gets turned. So I'm going to have to figure out, get some pliers and see if I can turn this post a little bit. That wasn't bad at all. Use which one? Does it pass inspection? Mm -hmm. Check it for me. What do you think? Mm -hmm. You like it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. I'm also going to add some of this toolbox drawer lining material here. It'll add some padding to this so that the battery has a little bit of cushion and it will also prevent leaks. So if we have an acid spill again, hopefully the acid will be stopped by this and it won't eat up our pan next time. So that's kind of my thought anyway. Sure is.
All right, so here's what we're gonna do now. I'm gonna get all of these tools off of the track. It's amazing how many tools you can accumulate working on something like this. If I just put them all up when I was done with them, it'd be a lot easier. But I'm gonna get these tools off the tractor. I'm gonna take my helper inside and see if his sister can watch him. And we're gonna try to get this thing cranked up and moved out and pressure washed. All right, here's the moment of truth. I got dash lights. What do you want, man? When that one does. You want to clean that one off? Mm -hmm. All right, we'll stand back. There you go. It's a little wet. Of course it's wet. Of course it's wet. You're going to have to wait for it to dry. One more finishing touch. This uh, shroud or shield or whatever you want to call it right here has been off of this thing for so long. I don't think I know how to, I don't think I remember how to put it back on. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, guys. So I'm very happy to report that we have breathed a lot of new life into this machine. We got the oil change. We got the oil bath filter change. I did check the coolant, and it's 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 fine. Got that tire pumped up. It does need to be greased, probably. Um, we did a lot. Got a new battery in it. Got the battery pan cleaned out, and. Uh, uh, got all the rust, well, most of the rust off of it, got it repainted, got that acid stopped, and I tell you what, I'm pretty happy to have it back. It's going to be a handy tractor just to have for extra things. It'll be a good little food plot tractor, um, good for mowing, and it's got a lot of uses. It's got a lot of life left in it. What do you think? You like it? You want to go for a ride? Let's go for a ride. Okay. I almost forgot to mention this video has gone kind of long so we'll do some mowing uh, maybe on the next video we'll get the mower hooked up to this machine and uh and, and do that on a different video so right now we're going for a ride